Okay, right, turn it upside down. Because that way you're not looking at a face anymore, you're looking at shapes. I haven't right. done that. Yeah. That's, that's it really good. works well for me. It's one of the things um, I, 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 I noticed, you know, once I started doing that, but it was, I was finding it easier to get the symmetry, to get, you know, things in proportion. Well, that's that's something that's I've used for symmetry is to completely turn it on at a different mm -hmm. end. Yeah. It, from above, it just takes it out it of context, yeah. so you're like, right, okay, it's just shapes now. Mm. Also, different harsh lighting can mm. help you see strange stuff. Mm. Well, something you learn from, in drawing from the too. side. Yeah. I've seen yeah. someone check their symmetry from the side with the mirror in the back, and then you have the, uh, the mirror reflecting their side. Oh, yeah. Mm. Then they can look at both comparatively. That's them. another good thing. Mm. So, yeah, I'm Something we get, we're going to wrap up in a little bit, but something we get asked a lot at, at every single convention is, you know, about ZBrush and stuff. I mean, it's awesome. I mean, we've seen some people do some incredible stuff. Oh. We don't, we don't do it. Yeah, I've just started playing with it. Okay. It's, I mean, we have, you know, 20 year olds come up at, at conventions and say, you're still using clay? You know, how old are you? And we're like, what happened? Yeah? <laughs> <laughs> what is that sunny? <laughs> I don't know. So, so I still have Pong yeah. on the TV at home. Yeah. <laughs> I, I'm, all, I'm like, man, I hope there's always a place for like traditional guys who yeah. are getting they their hands laugh. dirty and using clay. I mean, like I say, I'm totally down with it. I've seen amazing stuff. It's an art form. It's just not what we do. When the power grid goes down and <laughs> yeah, right. after the nuclear war, when there's nothing yeah. to play, <laughs> then no, we're do it. although I haven't, we haven't done it. I have a feeling about our stuff that a lot of what we do is like happy accidents. That's like, true. I just pushed it too hard, or I've literally, I had a girl with horns, I knocked it over onto the floor. <laughs> Lifted it up. Oh, that's better. The horns. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't think you can do that in ZBrush. You know what I mean? Uh, so, you back up and you're like, oh, that's hilarious. I gotta take a picture of this. <laughs> <laughs> so um, we might try it someday, but you know, we hope we hope there are still jobs and, and people who are down with traditional sculpting. So, any other questions? Yeah. Go ahead. Well, I don't know. He's probably doing. <laughs> yeah. Um, when you're doing something like Finn, like say like a sword or stuff like that, mm -hmm. do, do you use anything to like support that underneath? Yes, like a piece of, I would do like a piece of floral wire okay. and then super glue it and then do some uh, Bondo and then sand that Bondo down real good. Okay. And that's how we would do a sword. Or, you know, we just messed with Styrene for the first time yeah. and uh, that Wayne Barlow's Thype we did, that sword we did at a Styrene. Mm -hmm. And I'm not above using foreign objects. I'll cut into like Tupperware sometimes or plastic or model kits. I'll cut into it and kind of fabricate, fabricate. a yeah. little sword because now you have to be careful on the baking end. If it's plastic, it'll melt. But if you can disconnect the plastic part, in my new piece, Lulu, there's a lot of, there was a lot of plastic stuff that I was adding in. Again, because we don't, we're not good on hardware and stuff or we don't want to, you know, where I was creating it out of other little things. I wasn't all um, clay. And plastic things that are going in the oven, it's, uh, it's amazing what will survive at 220. It's yeah. good to do a little test piece. You know, if you're curious, what, how is this going to react when I bake it at 220? Uh, bake it that's not the actual sword. Do a little yeah. test, you know. So, yeah, lots of options on swords. Yeah, I have a question for uh, Like Tony said, I don't want to take like, two VR, like Rosetta stuff and pour it into three. Mm -hmm. We, we we love Cipriano. Uh, he's great, and this Frazetta stuff he's done for real arts is top notch. Uh, we, we've we've done stuff based on drawings, not necessarily. We, we have done a little Frazetta thing, a snow globe. We one did time. a little. We got suckered into doing a snow globe one time. Clay <laughs> <laughs> Cly, more my Cly, more creation said, "Will you do a snow globe?" We said, "Absolutely not." He said, it's Frazetta. We said, yes. <laughs> <laughs> it was the Silver Warrior with yes, the, uh, the bears. The bears. Unfortunately, ours looked like chipmunks. Yeah. <laughs> so it was like the cow with the Well, they, they were so <laughs> small. They were like hedgehogs and chipmunks. And we were, it was weird. You were trying to get... It doesn't just have to be the size of the ball. It has to be the size of the circle underneath the ball. Right? Yeah, so the ball will go over it. And it's just like, oh, but, God. But we have done like some Bisley stuff. We did a yeah. Venom versus Spider. Man for Bowen Designs that was based straight off of a Simon Bisley pinup 
which is which is it, it's, it's a crazy process if you have a, a famous piece of art because especially with an artist like Beasley, kind of what we're just talking about about one angle. You're sculpting it, you're sculpting it, he and it doesn't work. Time. It yeah, doesn't yeah. work around the body. It's what he's doing to make it make that sense. That doesn't need yeah. to match up. It looks great as a as a painting, but when you're trying to pull it into 3D, there's a yeah. lot you have to make up. A lot of that Terminator one I did, that when I got to the legs, he'd drawn them, and it was like the legs were just completely different size. One yeah. was double the size. Yeah. And I, that's why I had to do a like, strange angle thing right. and to and get it to stand up. you're trying to make it true to the 2D, but it's... Yeah, from the front, it looks like the 2D, but as soon as you get around the side, it's like, okay, I had to do something crazy. And, but, it, but the legs are the right length now. So right. Yeah. He right. did a great Bisley Terminator. Oh, really? You've probably seen it online. Yeah, it, it's, it's, it's over on the uh, Silpak table, actually. I brought it with me. Cool. Across cool. Yeah. Real good. Other Fast questions? Resonant. Yeah. Well, my question was on uh, the joint, say it's a shoulder joint. Um, the, the tab, and obviously a socket on the other side. Mm -hmm. uh, when you have an armature and you're cutting it, you know, you, if you cut it at the seam, and you have a tab, you're going to have another piece of wire right there. Uh, um, what, we'll, what, what we would do is try to go in, if I wanted the line right there, I might go in a little bit even further and cut it so when I pull the arm away, there is a little wire left. And so then um, we would have the female part, the hole right here inside this thing, we would build it up with Bondo so that it's uh, real durable because we're gonna take it on and put it off like hundreds of times to get it to look right. Right, so super sculpty probably, you want it to be stronger even than that. Exactly. So, well, um, we're just trying to uh, feed off of that. When you're putting it in and out, what are you using to hold on while you're working? Um, because you can't always have your joints fit in and just stay there, right? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, you're right about that. Uh, like, it will fall out, and then you'll have to put another little piece of Bondo and let it cure and make sure it's going in, and uh, it does often fall apart, but then you have to get it uh, tighter and tighter until it will kind of stick together. And I might even do a little tap of super glue, not really super glue it in, but just a little touch to where it stays in there as I'm working on it. Yeah, we, like, like we were saying, we used to wait till the end, and Jared more and more is doing this during the process. I'm taking these arms off, I'm taking these wings off while you know we're sculpting and now the wings will come off and they fit back in and we're still working on them. Yeah. Okay, man, We've so got some pieces down at the booth that you can see. Yeah, we'll the take wings apart, will come so off. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I also want to say that we have a, a DVD from the Noman Workshop. I'm not trying to sell it, but the, it's two and a half hours and it's, and it's a HD of me and Jared doing it from beginning to end. They skip and they speed up parts. Me and Jared are talking for two and a half hours describing everything we're doing. And yeah, it's everything like we it. could think of to say, definitely. Yeah. yeah. And more. Yeah. <laughs> well, the armature that I always want to do, because I'm not, depending upon the character, obviously, uh, the stand itself. What if I don't want to stand? Because I just want him just standing in a certain pose, just him as is. Okay. What kind of armature would that be like drilling holes and then putting our wire in the wood? Yeah, exactly. I, that's what I would do is that I drill them, I drop them down. It's is really it, plumber's putty. I was going to say, is it a Bondo product? Bondo, right, is like for car products or something where you, you know, you, you fix the thing. Uh, that is a term that we should probably not use. Yeah. It's, it's an it's epoxy. I, I think it's filler. Yeah. 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 You're right. You're right. For color it's like, filler. It's like sometimes we would buy Billy Mays and Mighty Putty. It's the same thing. It's like plumber's putty that you would find in Ace Hardware. Yeah, it's just like two parts. Yes, yeah. exactly. You, you wear gloves because you don't want that stuff curing in your skin, you know? Yeah. So make sure you're wearing gloves. You wear it when you mix it up. And it'll heat up a little bit because it's a chemical reaction, but then it'll cool down and become. It says it's hard as steel, but it's not. It's just <laughs> really hard. It's really hard. Yeah. 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 Can you guys talk a little bit about textures and texture stamps and what you do? Because you guys have nice you know, textures and certain things like oh, okay. you know, scratch or something. Thanks, yeah. yeah. We're not opposed to using some good texture stamps. The the trick is to make it not look stamped, you know. Uh, like if we were going to do a dragon or something and we got a good uh, 
you can get a stamp off of anything, like a dog's nose, a dog's paw, an orange, orange a peel. pecan, any kind of organic fruit or anything. But we would want to make two or three different 